Next question. Kinikilig ka ba kay Fidel at Clay? <laughs> uh... I feel surprised. Uh, not because, uh, not because, uh, you, you know, uh, not sa, sa material namin. Pero in my past 10 years in the industry kasi, I haven't, uh, you know, been a part of the show with this kind of gravity towards the fans, uh, towards supporters. Uh, ramdam ko rin every time, you know, kahit, kahit yung mga maliliit na bagay na when I go out, uh, not, not natural naman na tinatawag nila ako by my character name, but ibang, le- ibang level yung ngayon. Uh, it's it's a lot different, even on social media, uh, it's it's different. Ramdam na ramdam ko talaga yung, uh, yung pagkakaiba from my past shows. And that's why I say it's surprising and yun, yun, nagulat ako. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy, very happy. This is some, a dream of, of uh, you know, artists like me to get recognition, to, to get recognition for the work that we've, we've, we have been putting in. Uh, so, yeah, overall, I'm very contented and happy. Yes, and about that, congratulations again. Not just for being, you know, awarded by Tag Media's 2022 Best Supporting Actor. But I saw sa Twitter na ang daming awards na tanggap ng show and ng co-stars mo. So congratulations for that. And Thank you. What's the most challenging part of playing Padre Sal? Um, siguro, I guess, initially yung, ano, yung look. Uh, maraming, ano, maraming na uh, gumawa, gumagawa ng memes sa social media pero it's getting over myself uh, sa sa look na kalangan kong gawin kasi I've never you know hindi hindi, hindi ko kailangan mag costume before eh hindi ko kailangan maglagay ng alam mo yun basically mag mag i distort ko yung physical features ko uh, maliban doon kami nila uh, majority of the cast we need to speak in deep tagalog plus spanish so and on top of acting pa, on top of acting and the pressure. So medyo marami talagang uh, matinding challenges with, with, when it comes to being a part of this show. True. And parang init din po nung costumes nyo. And you know, yung pag... <laughs> parang lagi din sinasabi ni Binibini and Clyde na ang init nga daw nung mga damit niya. So yeah. And it's really nice to see those. Kasi parang, alam nyo, natututo din kami nakikita namin yung mga nangyayari before during that time period. So it's really nice. Congrats sa mga and kudos to the staff and costume designer. It's really good. So, yeah, it's good. Question. It's it's it, it feels very authentic as well. Yes, so, it is. Uh, makapal siya. Ano uh, talaga siya? Every time side kwento lang. So every time nagkakaroon na ng mga takes, uh, sobrang pawis na pawis kaming lahat because it's hot here in the Philippines, di ba? So, uh, laging may naka-standby ng mga electric fan, mga towels, para mat- matawid lang yung mga costume namin. True. And I love how yung ano mo, yung parang wig. And how, yeah. I think there's something talaga about that na sinusuot ng mga Friday before. So it's really good na pati yung details na yun. It's so detailed yung show. Yeah. So I love it so much. Aside from, from Padre Salvi, sino ang gusto mong maka- magampana na character? Maging character dito sa show namin? Yes. Oh, I would I would love to play Crisostomo Ibarra. Mm-hmm. Oo. Sinabi ko rin yung sa press ko namin eh. Pero syempre, Padre Salvi is very special to my heart right now. Mm-hmm. Pero... Uh, kung papapiliin ako ng maliban sa role ko, uh, gra- yung, yung Christoph may bara, da- grabe yung challenge rin nun. Okay, so my personal question for you, Padre. Minsan ba naiinis ka sa character mo? Kasi ako talaga, for sure, yung iba naiinis na din talaga. 
<laughs> Ayan, ang dami nanonood ngayon, di ba? Tapos, mm-hmm. syempre, alam naman natin yung inis na nararamdaman natin kay Padre Salvi. The answer is yes. Naiinis din ako. Syempre kasi, uh, generally, hindi naman ako ganun klaseng tao. Mm-hmm. Uh, kailangan kong maghugot ng kung ano-ano para maparating sa, sa you know, ma- ma-live out yung kung ano talaga yung uh, yung binavalue ni Padre Salvi in life. So, ano talaga, na, na, naiinis din ako kasi parang nagkikringe ako kadalasan because it's so wrong on so many levels. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still art. So, yung professionalism namin nangingibabaw pa rin. Magaling. Next question would be, when filming, what do you do to get into the character of Padre Salvi? Um, ngayon kasi medyo mas gamay ko na. Pero the first few ones, uh, I had to explore a lot. Uh, we, kami ni Andrea, uh, si Sisa, mm-hmm. we did a lot of workshops. Ang dami namin mga ginawang workshops for us to get into the character, for us to know the essence of our character. Uh, and nung first few ones, n- nagkakapa ako, uh, first few taping. So when when I got into the flow already, parang I already know my essence. Alam ko yung what, what Padre Salvi values. Kaya kapag kunyari ngayon, if I if I go to uh, a particular taping okay. for for Maria Clara at Ibarra, uh, medyo mas madali na siyang i-pick out sa ano sa parang cards that we have. Nice. See ya. That's right. And talagang nag-pay off lahat ng mga workshop nyo kasi sobrang galing and trending yung mga scenes nyo every night which is amazing. Okay. Guys, hindi ako nagmamaneho ngayon. Eh. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to ask. Hindi ako nagmamaneho. FYI lang. I'm safe. We're safe. We're safe. Uh, from Twitter. Okay. So, ito. Was there ever, from Marine Bay at least, was there ever a time that you felt exhausted and you told yourself that you don't want to act anymore? Yes. Honestly, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Siyempre kasi kami, as, as artists, um mahirap talaga ma- freelance kami so there there will be times na uh, it it's it isn't that regular and nagkakaroon ng time na sobrang sunod-sunod so i i lalo na for me as as a father and going to be a father of two now uh, na yung lagi kong iniisip yung future ko kaya yung yung pagod ko ba or yung yung anxiety ko ba is it worth it lalo na before Maria Clara hindi bara so uh, I feel like si God answered my my prayers with this project uh, kaya ayon so overall yes na kakaran ako na na kakaran ako na ng times na papagod talaga ako to the point na na napapaisip ako sa future ko true I see And- And everything is just, you know, paid off right now. Because in God's yes. perfect time, you can see your role. And 2023 is going to be big. And congratulations po for your, on your second day. Thank you. So, Thank you. She's asking, how do you handle people criticism towards you? Oh, um, As portraying a villain. Okay. So, generally, kasi, generally, kasi, I, I do not let it affect me. Because everybody's going to have their own opinion. Uh, although, siyempre, kami, hindi ko naman sasabihin na hindi ko nababasa yun or hindi ako na-apektuhan dun. Lagi ko lang kailangan i-remind sa sarili ko that, uh, you know, th- we are in the public spotlight. At siyempre, hindi naman, we cannot, we cannot aim to please everybody. So, having said that, ang importante sa akin ngayon, kung ano yung tingin ng director ko, kung ano yung tingin ng... Uh, ano yung tingin ng producers, lahat ng mga bosses ng GMA, if I'm getting the job done, and everything else will follow pagka na, nagagawa ko. Next question. Kinikilig ka ba kay Fidel at Clay? <laughs> uh, both are, are very good friends of mine. Oo, kinikilig ako sa kanila kasi syempre yung cute ng dynamics nila at saka cute ng ano yung pagkaka- revolve ng kwento around them. Isipin mo, 
paano nga naman mag end yun na si Clive pumasok sa character, sa book at na in love yung isang character at nagkakaroon sila ng parang relationship ngayon. So, I don't know. I'm intrigued how that will pan out. Sobrang na-intriga ako kaya parang nagsaspark din yung kilig inside of me. Uh, because it's a lot of, you know, ano mangyari? Ano mangyari susunod? I mean, there's no uh, straight path uh, para para dun sa ano, kahahantungan ng ano nila, ng uh, love team nila. nila. Yeah, sobrang nakakilagay. Kaabang-abang, especially kaabangan <laughs> ngayon. So exciting. For sure, this week is gonna be, you know, exciting sa characters nila. Um, what's your favorite scene on the show so far? Uh, favorite scene ko was my first scene with the, si Crisostomo Ibarra. Yung first scene na tinake ko ha. Pero yung first scene na yun was when yung first encounter namin sa show na sinasabi niya sa akin, tinatanong niya kung ano daw ginawa ko sa tatay niya. Oh. And, sin- and sinabi ko na uh, hindi ako si Padre Dama. So it was a very very long scene two days namin kinunan yung scene na yun. And it was difficult kasi syempre, first time, mga first days ko na mamit si Kuya Dennis noon kaya parang sobrang medyo na-intimidate ako. Mm-hmm. Although hindi naman siya nagbibigay ng ganong vibe. It was just, you know, it was just me. Uh, pero overall, sobrang kinabahan ako doon kasi akala ko mag- magkakamali ako magkakamali. Pero buti naman hindi. So, mm-hmm. uh, na-pull off namin yung scene. It was a good scene. Uh, lalo na nung lumabas, it was also very well, you know, stitched together. Kahit two days na yung ginawa, hindi halata. Uh, kaya yun, it was, it's my favorite scene. Ito po ba yung scene na, na tinulak nyo siya? T- tinulak niya ako. Ah, oh. tinulak ka niya. Yeah, 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 yeah that one. So, yeah, yeah. that one. Doon pa, doon yun talaga unang nainis din ako kay Padre Sadi. <laughs> ano pa po ang aming aabangan sa Maria Clara at Ibarra, especially from Padre Salvi? sa future episodes? Um, marami pa. Although, syempre, dadating at dadating pa rin ang panahon na kung saan matatapos na ang kwento. Pero overall, uh, patapos na ang ang libro ng No Limit Angire at papunta na tayo sa Philly. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, there are a lot of uh, chapters ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, tignan natin kung paano makaka-apekto si Clay sa daloy ng dalawang napakagandang nobela ni Jose Rizal. At uh, tignan natin, check nyo rin, ito, ito ang kailangan nyo abangan from from me also maliban sa sa show na Maria Clara Tibara. Abangan nyo rin kasi marami kami ni Renato na isushoot ng mga mag, na, nakakatuwang skits. Uh, na isushoot na at ipapalabas sa amin para, para ano, for the light-hearted na side of uh, Padre Salvi dito sa Instagram and TikTok. Mm, true. Ay, kabang-abang po yan. And... Uh, okay, so I just wanna say, I just wanna take this opportunity and tell you guys, yung mga nanonood ngayon, at saka yung mga bumoto sa akin sa Tag Media, and Tag Media for, you know, the, the recognition. And so, uh, the, the, new, the all the awards Maria Clara and Libara have been getting, Uh, I want to take this opportunity and, and tell you guys that this is all our award. You know why? Because Philippine culture has 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 always been, you know, kind of uh, shaky and palagi tayong nakatingin outside going in. Di ba palaging natay na ang Korean drama? And as an artist kasi, syempre, uh, we, we want... Uh, people in the Philippines to support us as well. And we've, we've felt that with Maria Clara and Debara. I just want to give this award to, parang i-alay itong award na to sa lahat ng mga sumuporta sa show because I just want to show you guys na we can do it as a, as a society na kaya natin mag-produce ng, ng world-class na content that we will be proud of, that we can learn from, hindi lang yung mga normal na kung ano yung uh, di ba yung walang yung walang aral but as an artist it makes me feel uh, you know proud and and fulfilled that everybody kahit na you know this this series has been a lot of learnings a lot of you know uh, reviewing uh, na marami pa rin talaga nakiki-interact at nakihalubilo sa amin 
So, ayun, ano eh, I've been thinking about this for a long time already and it's 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 uh it's it it definitely fulfills my my you know my my need and my my want in my heart. Uh and yun, I'm proud of I'm proud of my show. I'm proud of Philippi- the Philippines in general. I love I love our country. And uh, lastly, you know, thank you again, Tag Media Chicago, and thank you for all the people that helped me to be in the position that I'm in. Yes, po. Um, congratulations, and you deserve all the awards and the awards that you'll be getting in the future. Thank Kasi you. sobrang galing po ng pagganap niyo na kontrabida. Dahil lahat talaga kami sobrang, <laughs> you know, na-affect, na-affectuhan. Thank you.